Hey guys, tonight I am going to be making a extremely simple recipe. It consists of four different ingredients. And before I tell you what it is, it is a meal that I grew up on as a child. It is definitely a home comfort food for me. And it's going to sound really weird, but it is hot dogs, soy sauce, sugar, and brown rice. So these are the specific brands that I choose to use when I make this meal. It is really important to use 100% kosher beef hot dogs. I personally use Heber National, but if you want to use a different brand that is 100% kosher beef, that is totally fine. I also use the less sodium soy sauce, just because that's what I prefer. And then I have just some plain sugar and then brown rice that I get from Trader Joe's that is microwavable. It's just easier for me to make. So the next step in making this dish is to cut up the hot dogs into little pieces. I'm going to be doing that by using my quad knife that I got from quadtools.com. If you've seen any of my previous cooking videos, I've used this knife to help me cut up food on my own. So I'm gonna cut up the hot dogs now and I'll be back once I'm all done. Watch out. There we go. So what I did guys is I just added the soy sauce to the hot dogs and I just poured it all over. You really want to coat the hot dogs and once you have the soy sauce in the pan, you want to turn it on high because the goal is to caramelize the hot dogs with the soy sauce. So I'm going to turn my stove on high right now and get the soy sauce and hot dogs cooking pretty high. So I'm just trying to mix it up right now, make sure all the hot dogs get coated with soy sauce. And I know I said I'm waiting for, you wanna wait for it to caramelize, but you gotta, it won't caramelize until you add the sugar. But for right now, I'm just letting the soy sauce and the hot dogs cook, and I'll add the sugar 
a little later. So the hot dogs and soy sauce have been cooking on high for a couple of minutes now. Um, I'm gonna add the sugar, but for safety purposes, I actually have someone here to help me. I'm gonna have them distribute the sugar evenly around the hot dogs because I don't wanna burn myself or dump the sugar all in one spot. And once you have the sugar on top, you can actually turn it down a little bit. You still want it cooking, but you don't. It doesn't need to be on high. So I'm gonna turn it, turn the heat down, and then stir it up. As you can see, there's still a lot of juices and soy sauce at the bottom of the pan. While it's cooking, you just want to continue to just stir it and move it around. And I know I, I probably cut up too many hot dogs, so the portion size just depends on how much you want. Um, I also may need to add a little bit of more sugar, but as you can see, the hot dogs are starting to change color and get a little darker and caramelized. So right now, you just I'm just gonna continue to stir it. So I ended up adding a little bit more sugar because I needed a little bit of, I needed more caramelization. So as you can see, the hot dogs are definitely getting more caramelized and kind of crispy. And unfortunately for this type of recipe, you kind of just eyeball how much soy sauce and sugar you want in it. Um, you can tell when it's starting to be done when the sugar caramelizes and it's almost kind of black, but right before that point. So it's, almost done but I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer I wish you guys could smell it because it smells so good soy sauce and sugar really smells amazing and once these are done I'll basically just throw the rice I have in the microwave and cook it and throw the hot dogs on top of the rice and it is delicious you can also add sometimes we'll add onions into the hot dogs or we'll have like green beans or some veggies on the side but tonight we're just gonna do hot dogs and rice. So as you can see, the hot dogs are pretty much done. They look almost all caramelized. And once it gets to this point, you wanna turn your stove on low because you don't wanna burn it. It's almost at the point where it's about to burn. So that's why you wanna turn it down and just kinda let it cook or simmer until it finishes. So I'm pretty much at the point where I'm just letting it cook a little bit longer. But again, it's pretty much done. I'm gonna throw the rice in the microwave pretty soon, and that just cooks for a couple minutes, and then add the hot dogs on top, and then it's done. So this is what the finished product looks like. These are how the hot dogs are supposed to look, kind of wet and caramelized. I ended up having to add even a little bit more sugar to really caramelize it. The ingredients I used were Hebrew National Hot Dogs, soy sauce, I used low sodium, and white sugar. And then I have my brown rice here that I'm just gonna put the hot dogs on top of right now. Using my quad spatula that I got from quadtools.com. So again, I got both my quad knife and my quad spatula that I'm using right now from a website called quadtools.com. So if you could benefit from a 
tool like this or know someone else that could, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I can leave a link to it in the description below. And now I am going to taste the food. Get a little bit of rice and the hot dog. And again, you can add onions or vegetables on the side if you want, but Sedona smells this. It smells so good. All right. Oh yeah. That tastes exactly how they should. They're delicious. So for those of you who may think this doesn't look good, I would definitely recommend trying it first. Again, this is a meal that I grew up eating as a child. My family likes to call it shoyu hot dogs, and shoyu means soy sauce in Japanese. So this is one of my favorite dishes, and it turned out really good. So I would definitely recommend trying it if you're interested. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting me and my channel. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks. So since Sedona was by my side since I started cooking and kept me company, I gotta treat her and give her one, one to taste. Sedona, speak. <coughs> speak, <coughs> good girl. Okay. Is that good?